right now I tell you, you can hear these bats, you can smell these bats, trust me. We are here underneath the bridge, and way up there nestled in these beams, those are where those flying mammals are. Now during Harvey, I'd be underwater, that flood water reached all the way to the top, and that was a big problem. Shh, listen carefully. Those are bats roosting underneath this bridge. Houston's most famous colony can be found here under Wall Drive at the Buffalo Bayou Park. At their peak pre-Hurricane Harvey, the bats numbered in the hundreds of thousands. I would have never known 300,000 bats stayed <laughs> right here in the city that I grew up in. I didn't know. You can see Harvey's rain left our little friends in dire straits. Many drowned, others relocated. Some were rescued, some did manage to get out on their own. But uh, I would say the population is probably just an, an estimate, maybe a third to, of what it was before. It seems like recently they're coming out in batches. Diana Foss says the animals serve a vital purpose. They're a huge help in pest control. With the original colony here at WA, the 300,000 bats, ate probably three tons of insects a night. So that's a lot of insects when you consider they only ate the body part, not the wings and the legs and all that stuff.